Hey, hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. Hey, YouTubers, we're back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. if y'all like to be called YouTubers. I don't know. Some people just refer to them, hey, YouTube. Hey, or YouTube. You, or YouTube family, you know. YouTube, YouTube I don't know. world. I don't know. I mean, I Those say. Those all in the YouTube. <laughs> you. Yeah. Tube. Yeah. Hey, what's going okay. on? But that's, I don't know. I don't know, because I don't, I'm not really, ha I'm, I'm. YouTube kind of is my thing. I don't, I'm not really heavy into like uh, Facebook or Instagram or uh you know, Snapchat TikTok. or stuff like that, TikTok. But do people refer that same? Do people get out and say, hey, uh, Facebook family? Or maybe that's something. Do they do that? Or hey, people, hey Facebook? Because they do that with YouTube all the time. Hey, YouTube. I wonder if they do that in... No, because uh, Facebook, well, you just post stuff. Yeah, yeah. Repost stuff. But right. you can check check TikTok out. Sunshine and E. TikTok, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. TikTok, man. That's that's uh, it's cool. I mean, because I had a lot of cool things. I I don't I like the funny, laughy, that kind of stuff. It's just the people that get in there and try to get serious, and people that's not doctors act like they know lots of about my medical field and different things. Those yeah. are, those are the things that kind of like come on, man. <laughs> nobody it, knows. Weird, because it didn't start off that way. Right. Started off as supposed to be for kids, mm -hmm. and I guess adults took over. And started doing the funny stuff. Mm -hmm. But then when 2020 came in to play and all the controversy of, you know, the pandemic and everything, people started, it, it changed into a different yeah. entity of, yeah. of sorts of information right, and right. medical and and a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So it's works. still fun, though. Yeah, some of it's fun, yeah. But uh, let's get into my uh, man here. He's uh, LAX. I guess that's we talk about the airport disaster. Let's see what he's going to talk about. Before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, and also comment below. And so, let's go. Did you say this was gay, girl? Iglesias. Said, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hotel in Chicago at 1 o'clock in the morning because I missed my flight. Nobody's at the front desk, just a little bell and a sign that said, ring for service. So there I am. Ching. <laughs> Ching, ching. <laughs> All of a sudden, I heard this. I hit a bell. <laughs> All of a sudden, this lady came out. Just. <laughs> Are you the one ringing that damn bell? <laughs> what the hell you want? Um, I'm checking in. You know what time it is? It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I know I missed my flight. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say. What's going on out there? Girl, you gotta see this. I got a big ass Mexican showing up late as hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. Iglesias. Yes, Iglesias. Okay, Iglesias. Okay, E G L. I, no, 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 no. It's Iglesias with an I. With an I? But you said Iglesias. <laughs> you didn't say Iglesias. You said Iglesias. <laughs> it's Iglesias with an I. Mm hmm. Whatever you say, it's your damn name, okay? <laughs> Mr. Iglesias with an I. You know, that's bad for you. Oh, this right here? My grandmama lived to be a hundred years old. Smoking? Minding her own damn business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Iglesias with an eye. That is a good one. I like okay, that. Okay, I found you in the system. I got you for two nights, full-size bed, non-smoking. I requested a queen-size bed. And you would have got a queen if you'd have been here yesterday. But it's tomorrow and you're lucky I'm talking to you. <laughs> Mr. Iglesias with an eye. <laughs> What's the I stand for? I need a bigger bed. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on out there? Girl, you gotta see this. Nacho Libre is tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Give me a hard time. A lot has changed though, man. For those of you that don't know by now, I finally became a dad. Oh. Did mm. you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't know what this is though. Hell yeah. Oh, He's 10. 
Oh. Yeah. Surprise me too. <laughs> yeah, they found me. <laughs> and it's not what you think. I didn't discover that I had a lost child. It's just that I hooked up with a beautiful woman who had a pre-started family. Mm. Oh, so basically, nice. I became a stepfather. You know, I just took over the payments. <laughs> Best part for me is that my new son looks exactly like me. He's fluffy too. Yeah. Ten years old, 162 pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little damn. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I was always kind of surprised. Me, I didn't know. I thought maybe this was kind this of recent. Like this what I had. You did what? You and he's talking about the kids. So yeah. Oh I yeah, yeah, yeah. Off a little bit, um, but. Yeah, that, that that hotel thing, man. We gotta we gotta start uh, kind of taping some of because we've run into some wacky stuff. We do a lot of road trips. We're out a lot and we stay in a lot of different hotels. And the ones I hate is when you get to the point where you don't necessarily, something comes up and you whether it's an emergency where you have to stop for some reason or you go there figuring you can get something that's not the height of us, and then you run to admit there's there's some kind of something going on and you're limited in what room you can get. That's when it gets real tricky and you spend a lot of money for nothing of a room. It's just certain. I'm not like a high class kind of guy, but you kind of want things clean and nice. And but I am. I'm really particular. Well, I mean, you, you don't have to necessarily be the high, you know, got to have the, the, the top floor. The, no, the I never have that. Type I don't stuff, mean but, that. I but, mean... Um, I, you know, only one, one of the things I like, I, I prefer is to when I step out my front door of the room, I'm not outside. <laughs> That's one of my things. You know, I just like to be comfortable whenever I don't want to have to get dressed to go get ice. You know, I like to just go out there be barefooted or throw on some sandals or something or whatever and just walk to get the ice or walk and go to the vending machine or go downstairs and, and she likes to get the coffee drink and go out and grab coffee or tea or something like that. I like to do it all indoors. So no matter what the weather is, I'm comfortable. But, you know, but some of them, actually, you have some of them that are real nice that have uh, step out your room, step outside places. But generally speaking, the, the more nicer ones are going to be the ones where you're indoors the whole time. <laughs> but, you know, but, uh, that, yeah, that's, uh, but the, 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 the service, I never really run into that problem where you, you have to keep bringing and getting the person. Usually there's a person, most times there's a person right up there ready to go, so. I think I, I'm always mostly the one going in to check well, I'm in looking mostly. Up. Yeah, I'm looking. But, I'm seeing the person yeah. in there before you get out, so I, <laughs> I know that they're in there. But you know, but I, I, luckily I don't have that problem. I haven't had a lot of rude uh, uh, people that's uh, you know we deal with. We uh, usually, if we have any issues, they usually take care of it. They usually knock some money off or do something for you. So mm -hmm. you don't have a big problem. The worst we have is. Um, when we go to the casino sometimes and we get comp rooms because mm -hmm. we've yeah, you know, spent money there so we get comp rooms and then you have an issue that is really a big issue whether there's no hot water or there's people running up and down the yeah. <laughs> outside your room keeping you up all night long and see when you complain what are, what are they going to do yeah can you, you, you already, already got the free. room free yeah. <laughs> so it's just kind of hard the only thing you can do is like in Vegas a lot of times Vegas you get a free room a lot of hotels are going to this even outside of Vegas that they have the resort fee so it's never really totally free sometimes you still have to pay the resort fee so maybe that's something because resort that's you're paying for that so if you're having problems with that Maybe they can do something with the resort fees. But if you're getting it totally free, it's really tough to demand anything. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. you're getting it free, dude. That's the thing. So, but that's my man. And uh, LA, did they say LA, LAX, did, did anything say anything about that? He airport? didn't say anything about the airport. He just <laughs> said he missed airport. his flight. He oh, just, yeah, because it's flight. That's all yeah, he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> And that's caused a disaster and miss a flight. Okay, I was going to say, got to be some kind of connection. But uh, y'all do let us know what you think about it. And uh, before we go, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, share and comment below. And I do believe that's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me. me.